The Top 10 Family Dog Breeds <laughs> When looking for the perfect addition to your family, you will find so many adorable dog breeds to choose from. According to the American Kennel Club, these 10 breeds are among the best choices for average families and households with children. In at number 10 is the Collie. The Collie is one of the most intelligent dogs you will find. These dogs are known for their incredible herding skills and ability to keep livestock rounded up and in check. Collies are very active dogs and require some daily exercise, but the rest of the time they are quite happy just relaxing around the house. They can grow anywhere between 50 and 75 pounds. The most popular Collie is a rough Collie named Lassie, an instant classic originally started in the 1940s that is still filming today. Number 9 is the French Bulldog We've talked a lot about the French Bulldog on this channel. They are an incredibly entertaining and loving creature. They are great around kids, but require a fair amount of attention, just like a kid. French Bulldogs have surged in popularity over the last decade and can carry a fairly high price tag. They are a brachycephalic breed and must not be overexerted because of their narrow airways. Short walks and a lot of attention is what keeps this breed happy. They will grow between 16 and 28 pounds and are very well suited for condo living and adaptable to many different environments. Number 8 we have the Newfoundland. These dogs were originally bred and used as working dogs for fishermen in Newfoundland, Canada. They are a large dog with incredible strength, intelligence, but also calm and very loyal. These dogs are known for their water rescuing abilities, which they excel at due to their muscular build, thick coat, and webbed paws. Their bone mass allows these dogs to cut through powerful ocean waves like a creature from the sea. They are a moderately active dog that can grow between 100 and 150 pounds. They likely inherit their laid-back personality from coexisting so many years with native Newfoundlanders, who are known for their hospitality and general likability. In at number 7, the Brussels Griffin. These guys were named after their city of origin in Brussels, Belgium, who descend from a dog called the Smoge, which was used to help eliminate rodents. The Griffin has not generally been an overly popular dog, however they've enjoyed a brief increase in interest in the United States after appearing in a popular movie As Good As It Gets released back in 1997. These dogs need to be well socialized at a young age with children and other animals. They are on the smaller side reaching weights between 8 and 10 pounds. Number 6 is the Irish Setter. The Irish Setter is an outgoing high energy pup that loves to run and is better suited for families that have access to larger spaces to let them run loose. They were originally bred for hunters and excelled at seeking out game birds with their incredible sense of smell. The Irish Setter's beautiful red coat requires some moderate grooming to keep it looking stellar. You will need to brush these beauties at least two times per week. You can expect them to bark a bit and they'll grow to between 60 and 70 pounds. In at number 5 is the Pug. The Pug is a distinctive looking squishy faced pup with a lot of wrinkles. Pugs were brought from China to Europe in the 16th century and became popular in Western Europe. Pugs are very playful and love human companionship. They are known to pack a lot of dog in a very small package. They are very determined and rarely aggressive. Pugs have appeared in popular culture and in famous films such as Men in Black featuring Frank the Alien Talking Pug. Pugs have moderate energy levels and like to be walked regularly. They will grow to between 14 and 18 pounds. Number 4 is The Beagle. The Beagle is a compact scent hound which was bred primarily for hunting hare. They have incredible temper and tracking abilities. They are often used as detection dogs for seeking out prohibited foods from entering various countries around the world. These dogs are very good to train, but they can be a bit on the vocal side. They are great around other dogs and are prone to separation anxiety when left alone. The most famous beagle of all was Snoopy. In a popular comic strip started in the 1950s, peanuts grew to evolve into TV shows and movies that are still being broadcasted today. The beagle will grow to between 20 and 30 pounds. Number 3 The Golden Retriever These dogs are highly intelligent, friendly, and loyal. 
The name retriever refers to the ability of the dog to retrieve shot game without damaging it due to their soft mouth. These dogs have a love of water with a dense inner coat that provides warmth in the outdoors. They are a popular choice for disability assistance and can be trained as guide dogs for people that can't see and people that can't hear. Golden Retrievers will bark when necessary but are not known for being loud. They would be a poor choice as a guard dog because they instinctually want to be everyone's friend. They are one of the most popular breeds in North America and can grow to between 55 and 75 pounds. The popular film Air Buds suggests these guys make great basketball players, so why not try and teach your retriever how to play a sport? In at number 2 is the Bulldog. Known better as the English or British Bulldog, this breed is another super wrinkly, brachycephalic breed that loves affection and play. These dogs are on the quieter side and do not bark a lot. They are a great companion for kids and demonstrate a great temperament. Bulldogs are great for condos and apartments where space is limited and accessing running space is more difficult. The Bulldog is a dependable breed and can grow between 40 and 50 pounds. And the number one family friendly pet is the Labrador Retriever. This dog has been the most popular dog in the USA for several years. An active and outgoing breed and one of the most friendliest and personal breeds you can imagine. Labrador Retrievers are also a popular choice for guide dogs or therapy dogs and are extremely obedient and eager to please their master. They come in a few different colors and their coating is on the shorter side, but they still do shed. The Lab Retriever originated in the UK and can weigh between 55 and 65 pounds. The AKC popularity list is due to be released in just a few weeks, so we'll see if the Lab Retriever continues to hold the top spot in that category too. So stay tuned right here and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Check out more of our great videos on our channel and we'll see you real soon.